I'm taking over leadership of a team of six people. Two, I know, and four, I don't. When you've taken over leadership, did you, one, give a group talk? Two, meet with each individual? And three, what did you say? (laughs) Good question. Yes, obviously, give a group talk. That's affirmative. You get everyone together. Hey, guys, my name is Bill. Mm -hmm. I came from this place. I'm here to take over. Now, there's a some judgment calls that you have to make because you're going to introduce yourself, but if you're taking over a well-functioning team, then guess what? You're not going in to revamp everything immediately because everything's going fine. Mm. So, hey, I'm happy to be working with you guys. Looking forward to it. I know you guys have a great reputation. Glad to be a part of the team. Awesome. Mm. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here. That's easy. If you're taking over a team that's not working well, like there's problems and that's why somebody got fired and that's why you're coming in there, you might need to address some of those things. Hey, listen, I know things have been a little off track. I'm gonna look at what's going on. I'm gonna take input from you guys. We probably need to make some changes. We're gonna do it together as a team. That's where we're moving from here. We need to get back to where we're supposed to be. Boom, something like that. And again, there's gonna be people on that team that have been busting their ass and working really hard. And if you go in there and just disparage everyone, mm-hmm. they're, you're gonna start off on the wrong foot. So. Yeah, have keep it pretty broad when you meet the whole group. Hey, this is who I am, this is where I came from, this is what I'm looking forward to, all that stuff. And then yes, do you meet with the people individually? Absolutely, you go around, you meet with them, and when you, what do you talk to them about? You talk to them about them. You talk to them about them, you wanna know about them, you wanna know who they are, you wanna know what their, what their family situation is, what their interests are, what's going on, how they feel about the transitions that have been taking place, a little bit of that stuff, it's not about you, it's about them. So go, yes, and talk to everyone, take notes, maybe not right in front of them, so you look like a nerd, but you know, afterwards you go, hey, Bill has three kids, his wife also works at the company, he's interested in soccer and basketball, Whatever, you just take those notes. Mm-hmm. You know, it's um, actually good before you take some an over a situation, if you already familiarize yourself with this, you look at the maybe the HR website at your company has a picture of everyone, so you mm-hmm. kind of know who they are, gives you less stuff to remember. So there's that. Make good first impression. Mm-hmm. Don't go in there looking like an idiot. Don't go in there thinking that, oh, I just, I'm the boss man. So everyone has to bow down and, and <clears throat> bow down to my superiority. No, they're actually mad at you, yep, right? Yep. The, the thing is they're mad at you. So I remember one time I was taking over a small element and one of my friends was a part of the element and I went in, like 20 guys, I went in, hey, and I walked in but I just had a notebook with like five things I wanted to talk to them about. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I walked in, I, I opened up my notebook and he said something like, you brought a notebook, you're always squared away. That's why you're putting in charge. That's why you're putting in charge. So like, just a little impression of, hey man, I am I take this stuff seriously. Mm-hmm. And I would say overall, your main goal when you're meeting your team, when you're meeting the individuals on your team, is you are looking to build relationships with the people on the team. That's what your goal is. Because when you build these relationships, that's what's gonna make your team stronger. Etc. Yeah, remember the time you were on, when you were on Joe Rogan the first time, where he was like, "Hey, you're the only ones who's ever brought a notepad." Yep. And you're like, "Just trying to be prepared." Just trying to be prepared. <laughs> that was good. In case there's anything you know, yeah, topic man. comes up, you don't want notes. it to slip your mind. Yeah, yeah. That that's funny. Uh, and I'm trying to imagine being a worker, and you know, when you get a new manager, you know, or whatever, new boss. Um, you know, they come in. Yeah, if they were at, like having an individual meeting, I would I would dig it. And then, but if they're like taking notes, I'd be like, wait, why are you taking notes? Like, well, how are you going to use this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, against me later or something yeah, yeah. like that. No, That's what like, it feels hey, like. Call. Hey, man, how's it going? How long you been here for? Oh, I've been here for four years. Oh, cool. Do you you. You married? Yeah, yeah, I got two kids. Oh, that's awesome. That's yep. awesome. How long have you been married for? Oh, six years. Th- like that. You're yeah. getting to know the person. If I go in there and I go, how long have you been here? And you're like, six years, and I write yeah, that down. Yeah, write it down. And then I say, uh, what, what, what is your primary function here at the team? You know what I mean? Yeah. If you just jump right into that, oh, yeah. we're not looking to build a relationship. We're just right. looking to find out how I can use you. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Yeah. Even, I mean, you said it like, like how long have you been married? You said it like that. No. Man, it doesn't matter how you say it. You could say it the most nice, polite way ever, and when you write it down, it's kind of like, bro, like, 
Are dossier. you going to take all this information and sort of do some sort of evaluation for yeah. me? You know, kind of thing. It's what it feels like. You it know? does so, feel like that. That's why I specifically said when you're having a personal conversation with a person that you're meeting for the first time, mm-hmm. you're not scratching it into a notepad. Yeah. Now, so, that being said, if the guy says, you know what? I've noticed some things here around here that need changing. Mm-hmm. You go, really? Hold on a second. Yes, Let okay. me break out my notebook here and take yeah. notes on what you're about to say. Yeah, that's advanced. Right you know, there. if it's, it's like when you get a micromanager, you're working for a micromanager, bring a notebook. You, they see you writing stuff down, they think it's they, they're like happy. Yeah. You trick anyone. Yeah, cause, well, because <laughs> when you're writing down their stuff, yeah, that, that's what I'm it flips the script. It's like, it makes it like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's taking notes. It's important yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, you know, for kind sure. of thing. Like, he's going to evaluate, like, my opinion. Oh, hell, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. Roll in there with a well. notebook. It's like the doctor, you know, when you go to the doctor and he's asking you, oh, yeah, like all the stuff you see him writing down, you know, in your chart or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even though a doctor's situation is good because you want him to go evaluate it later yeah. or whatever, you know, give you a cure. But same deal, man. Same deal. Be careful with those notes. <laughs> for my sake. Geez. Check. Check. Echo's not prepared for you to take notes on him. We not with well, not my personal stuff. How long you been married? Oh, nine years. Okay, nine years. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you understand. Check.